And hi everybody, this is the Silver Fox Blog, and thanks for stopping by. I'm Rich Rosty, and I just want to say that the little guy is not going to be here. I'm the old guy, and filling in tonight, and I just wanted to say that it was kind of fun to do that. It was just something different I wanted to try, and I know that some people thought I was kind of nuts to do it, or they just, just didn't kind of get the humor in the whole thing, but I did it just to break up the, the Silver Fox Blog and just make it just a little bit different, so that's exactly why I did it, and some folks really enjoyed it, and and other folks, well, they just kind of thought I got a screw loose, which probably I do. But anyway, the idea is to get people to, to watch something about the Sioux Falls storm, and that's what we accomplished. Now, last week, Colorado, we were out there, storm took care of business, 73 to 44 came through without really any injuries uh, to speak of as far as major injuries. Uh, Jason Bonwell had a pulled hamstring, but I think he's doing pretty well. And now this week is the all-important week out in uh, Billings, Montana. Now this game is going to be broadcast nationally, uh, and I don't I don't have the uh, station numbers or things for you to uh, check it out as far as where it's going to be. All you can do is continue to check on the storm website, and that's where you probably find the information that you need. <clears throat> of course, it's always going to be on uh, the B2 network. It's going to be on uh, the radio station locally at Cool 107.9 FM. Then also streaming on the storm website. Uh, so you can get the storm action in a many different ways this weekend as we take on the Billings Outlaws. Now, storm is uh, looking to get back in the winning ways out there. It's been, uh, I think, four games or three games that the storm have lost out there uh, in a row. And uh, I checked, I think it's about two. Two or two wins in a row because we lost to them three times last year and two was out there. So, yeah, we've had some difficulties out in Billings. So this is going to be a huge game, but the storm is getting healthy, and I think that's one of the big things about it. The storm's going to get healthy at the right time of the year. And uh, storm played exceptionally well offensively last week, and uh, Coach talking about some of the defensive things they want to correct for this week, and I'm sure they'll have things well in order, and we'll find out who's going to be on the final 30-man roster after uh, Thursday of this week when the final roster has to be set. Now, Again, it's going to be on many different ways to watch it or listen to it. But what I want you to do right now is to go to the Billings Outlaws website, billingoutlaws.com, I believe is what it is. And there's a poll there, and it says which number five is the best quarterback or the real number five quarterback. Because Chris Dixon, their quarterback, is number five, and so is uh, Terrence Bryant. So if you go on that uh, website, go down to the lower right-hand corner, vote for Terrence Bryant. Last time I checked when I voted, it was like 65 to 35 Terrence Bryant on the uh, Billings Outlaws website. So go check that out and uh, add to that. I'm sure that somebody is going to be very frustrated with the number of votes that have been cast for Terrence Bryant. But anyway, this is a, a shortened version of the Silver Fox blog. Uh, the biggest thing is we've got two games left, this one, and then don't forget next week the season finale of the regular season at the Sioux Falls Arena, Tryon Gym Field, Sioux City Bandits coming into town, and we want to have a big crowd on hand again for that. We've had great, great crowds this year. We just want to keep filling it and get the Storm ready for a playoff run because the Storm are the champions of the uh, Central West Division of the Indoor Football League. So, folks, a lot of great football coming up. No important game, no more important game for the Storm this season than coming up this Saturday out in Billings. Next week, final season game, and then the playoffs start. So, lots of exciting action still coming up for the Sioux Falls Storm. Thanks for stopping by the uh, Silver Fox blog, and we'll talk to you again next week.